This video is in collaboration with a group of landscape photographers here on YouTube. There will be new videos added to the playlist all month, so make sure to check it out in the description box after watching to see what they're up to. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. So today you join me, I'm up in Claherhead, so following on from my last visit there, or my last episode where I was down in Claher Strand, I'm now up in Claherhead. And as you can kind of just make out behind me here, we're getting some beautiful light. It's a bit overexposed there now on that camera, but there's some sun rays that are coming down here onto the Blasket Islands. And then just here you have Antirucht, which is a beautiful island. An island actually that I visited by boat a couple of months back. So it's a phenomenal location. Hopefully it's looking like we're gonna get some nice light, but I'm late, so we have to rush over to try and get the light. So yeah, let's see how we go today. at the end of Clotter Head here and we're coming to a kind of a, a pinnacle at the edge of this but the beauty of where I am right now is I get views from this side and I get views to that side behind me. Behind me here you have some beautiful headland which is called the Three Sisters and another place as well that I visited in the past. It's a stunning spot hopefully it's looking like we're going to get some nice light and it might light up those as well so hopefully I'll be spoiled for choice here today. It should be a good uh, shoot. There's some beautiful light now as well coming across that way so I'm going to grab a couple of quick shots anyway here and I'll show you those and we'll continue on then to the final destination where we're going to shoot for today. now not to go down any further actually because where I am at this moment is down lower than where I was earlier but I have views on this way over here and I also have views as well towards Antirocht so if the sun pops down which I hope it will do we might get a nice sunburst of light coming through that but definitely looking promising anyway almost 360 views probably around about 270 degree views here with some beautiful scenery so I'm going to go handheld, get some quick shots anyway for now. Might introduce the tripod, I don't know yet because I'm going to use the long lens. Don't think I need to do any long exposures, but as I'm talking actually right now, that light is fading. So I'm going to grab the shot and then we'll see what we get from there.
behind me here now you have Mount Brandon and it's right behind my head actually here you can see that there's some clouds and they're low on the top of the mountain. If that catches in light, I think it's going to be absolutely phenomenal. The way that the light and the cloud are hanging on top of the mountain top itself, it looks like it might catch it. So that's probably going to be the first photograph that I'm going to get uh, on this side anyway here. And we're also getting some nice, um, what looks like it's rain as well that's coming in there. So lots and lots of atmosphere as well within this frame. So uh, on the 7200, I'm zooming right in almost as far as 200, probably at around 100, 185. And my settings then, I'm going for a 160th of a second. Uh, and my ISO is actually at 400. Now, I'm going to play around here and see, check the images as well. I might need to change that exposure time because I'm handheld. But what I found with the R5 and this lens is because this has image stabilization and the camera has image stabilization, I can get away with handheld shots a lot more. So that's what I'm doing here at the moment. But yeah, it's a waiting game now. Also on the other horizon here, looks like I might get a nice bit of light there too. So yeah, I think we could get lucky. The light does seem to be coming, so yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, we get it. So, oh, unfortunately, I don't think I got the light. Over my shoulder here, you can see the last bit of a gap that was in the clouds, and I was hoping that the sun was going to burst through that, but unfortunately, it didn't. Now, nonetheless, I still think I managed to get a couple of nice shots, even though the color wasn't spectacular. There was subtle little bits of color as well, and it was good to be able to be where I was, actually, to be able to photograph Mount Brandon, which is now behind you, and then the islands that lie off the coast here in Dingle. I'm going to hang around anyway and see, do we get a bit of light in the afterglow? Um, I've managed to take a couple of different types of photographs again, but again, mainly with the long lens here, and it's been quite versatile to be able to take those different shots. I've taken one shot actually of an island that's behind me right now, which is called the Sleeping Giant or the Dead Man. Um, not much light above that, but there was a bit of light as well above the Blasket Island. So the majority of islands here are beautiful to photograph in the best of times, but even with that little subtle bit of light, I think it would be a nice shot. So yeah, we'll wait now, we'll see how we get on. Do we get any further color before the end? I didn't end up getting any further light and it died pretty quickly. I think because I arrived so late, my time there was quite limited, but I did really enjoy the experience nonetheless. Here's a panoramic shot that I took with the R5 and handheld, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, Schlange Fall.